So I'm going to review this Mia Culpa movie because it was so bad and I want to save anyone who hasn't watched it. Save your time. Save your, your peace. Don't watch this movie. It's pretty bad. Um, but it's, it's going to be largely negative. So I, I apologize for people who are just like, oh, you're being a hater. I'm, I'm not being a hater because this man is a, a billionaire. He has made a billion dollars making terrible movies when he was starting out when the movies were bad it was like okay maybe he just needs a little more time a little more money and he'll get it together like he'll come around nope he's gotten worse yeah yeah he he was better off as as Medea and those movies were terrible I, I stopped watching his movies a long time ago and then like I, I sometimes will still try and give him a chance. No more. And here's why. The moment that this pops up on the screen, produced, written, and directed by Tyler Perry, the moment that that shows up, I already know. I already know this is about to be a waste of my time and I'm going to give it an effort in, in hopes that I'm going to be proven wrong, but I will be proven right. Because this man can't do all three. I don't fully know if he can do the one, but I've only seen him in combo mode. So maybe one individually might be okay, but the combination of all three, it's a wrap. It, it's a wrap. Oh, look, Her Majesty the Queen has finally arrived. Terrible acting. Don't worry, son. Your second wife will be on time. <laughs> Where do you do this at? Who, who, what? He does not know how to write realistic scenarios or realistic people. Who, who, who not going to say nothing? Nobody's saying nothing. The son slash husband, he just going to let his mama straight up disrespect her like that? He not even going to be like, nah, chill. Like, nothing? Just... Is the mama mob boss that everybody's afraid of her and nobody could say something? Mia, you're a whole lawyer. You don't know how to stand up for yourself, defend yourself? Not realistic. Terrible scene. I want you to meet someone. So this proper. Is Jenna. She's a Bye. wonderful girl. Hi. Hi. I mean, I know why my son liked her so much and I wish she were my daughter in law. Who would say that? <laughs> <laughs> Still nothing? Well, now that the queen. Nobody, nobody's still saying anything. And this girl, we can maybe, maybe I just hang around different people because there's no person in this scenario that I'm like, oh yeah, my home girl would act like that. Or like, oh, that trick that live up the street, she would act like that. Where, who, who do he know that act like this? Who behaves like this? That this is like, feels like a natural scene. Where? I ever tell you my wife thought it'd be a good idea to buy two of his paintings? Why she looks so stressed? I'm gonna get rid of Why he looks so we have to. cynical? I'm prosecuting the case. You know, clear conflict there. He gave it away right there that somehow those two was a little too attached to this Zaire character. They gave it, he gave it all away right there. You might not know how or why, but he pretty much made it clear like old girl slept with old boy at some point in her life. Maybe he was ex-boyfriend. We don't know the, the, the details, but he gave it away in that one scene. We, we five minutes into the movie. Better for who? I'm trying to do a good job for you. That bullshit. Excuse me? I don't want to be here. This place is I'm tight niggas in suits and I, I don't feel I can't open up here. The me audacity. The so much better. Are you taking this seriously? Are you? The audacity. Meet me and my love. Meet me, meet me. Mr. Malloy, are you really leaving? By the way, uh, see them James. First of all, you're in no position to be making any demands. You're about to be on trial for murder. You meet where I say. She must be a terrible lawyer because she hasn't stood up for herself not once yet in this whole movie. She just be letting people talk to her any old kind of way. Um, I don't want I don't want you defending me if you can't tell people to back up, check yourself in your own life. Mm-mm. No no. No 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 no. I think I needed a lawyer because 
Everything in your body says you're attracted to me, but you won't admit it to yourself or to me. I can't trust you. New lawyer. If that's what you want to do, but I'll just say this. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, the statement should have been right there. If that's what you want to do, period. Nothing else. Because what he just said is wild. He said, uh, I need a new lawyer because I know you attracted to me and you won't tell me that. Wild, sir. What is going on in your head that makes you think that this is okay? And what she again? You 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 don't know how to stand up for yourself. Like this man is clearly trying to manipulate you, and you're just like your trial's in a month, so you might not want to do that. No 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 no, let him do that. Let that man go to jail because he's clearly insane. Okay. This is the scene that made me know that, okay, I, I'm so done with Tyler Perry movies um, because he always does something that's so left field. And I'm just like, where, where did this come from? I, we, were, we were here and then you took us there. This is below the man's apartment. He just went down to the garage and down some hallway and there's an orgy situation, nightclub that's happening how did we get there he, he he just fired her as her lawyer and then he was like i need to blow off some steam and i need to dance and you go to an underground orgy nightclub how did we get there so quickly that escalated and, and there's no no look of shock on her face she's just curious and that scene was followed up by this one. I'll block it out for Hi. anybody who, you know. Hey. But her titties is out. I'm a big star. So, need to introduce yourself. She's not saying. She proceeds to go over and give this man a blowjob while old girl is still in the house and he's just looking maniacally. And she just gotta sit there and watch. Cause he wanna... Okay, if all this is happening, common sense would be like, there's no way that the scene that follows, she's still gonna be his lawyer. There's just no possible way. Spoiler. Fast forward two minutes. She gets in the car, gets a text, basically it's, it's an accusation that her husband is cheating on her. So because she's so hurt and mad, she goes back into old boy's apartment, finds him like this. Come on now. Currently with old other girl. She just gets up. N nobody's making any sounds or nothing, so whatever. And then he just goes right to her. Was she already down for that for this life? Because there's never a moment of shock. Not in the the sex den. Not seeing all this. She, has she always been cool? No, no judgment. But what is happening? I'll fast forward through the next part. She sleeps with him. He, she goes to his bed. He has a painting of her face on his ceiling. They have this whole, uh, you know, in love moment. She later feels guilty because she found out that her husband didn't actually cheat. So she's like, oh man, I slept with this man for nothing. She also goes and meets up with this other lady who was um, like an art investor for the man, but she also had slept with him. And when she meets with her, she find, finds out that every line that he's used on on her he he also used on old girl so she's like okay he's been running game she goes back to his place tears down the painting with her face from his ceiling underneath it is other pictures of other women that he slept with and de deals with so she's like okay this is like you're, you're sick or whatever you gotta get a new lawyer he's like oh no i, I can't and she's like nah I'm, I'm i'm good at this point goes to her family's house they know about the affair they confront her so she's like i gotta go to the dominican republic to get away Okay, I skipped a lot of the other bad acting moments, but I gotta show this one. Did you fuck? Yes. 
What was that? We needed another take of that one because that that was not well executed. That he went Tasmanian devil slash angry Michael Jackson. It was it was a lot. Okay. Also, another note to insert about Tyler Perry not knowing how to write certain things. He never writes new scenes well. They always, like, you know, other movies, you watch a new scene and you, you'd be like, oh, like, like, it looks like they got like actual news people or, you know, somebody who knows how the news works. Not Tyler. Give him the optimal for parole. So doesn't this mean no trial and no answers? Usually when these types of deals are made, the defendant has to confess and tell where the body is. Is that a part of this deal? No, surprisingly enough, DA Harper did not ask for that, which is shocking. I'm sure we'll be hearing from her family. Yes, that is strange. Thank you very much, Brandon. If I turned on the news and saw that story, I'd be like, is this is this the onion like this is a satire because that's not that's not how that's not how journalism works now this scene right here <laughs> excuse me yes ma'am heidi um, you're heidi uh, i'm sorry no no that's that's the missing girlfriend. Mia just happens to be at a vacation resort in the Dominican Republic and just happens to stumble across the missing, supposedly dead, murdered girlfriend. Was it searching for her? Just old girls just working, not hiding out. Just 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 got a full time job at a resort in the Dominican Republic. But her blood and skull fragments were in old boy's apartment she, her her skull don't look damaged at all she working nine to five okay fast forward a lot of unnecessary details um turns out this is a whole scam that the mother-in-law and the brother-in-law cooked up they're trying to get this man in jail because he slept with brother-in-law's wife sister-in-law slash best friend so that's how this whole thing got started. It's it, it it it's unnecessary. But this scene right here. Stab her. Do it. No, I won't. I won't. I won't. Nobody's Mia, why aren't you running? You're just saying no. You you just gonna stand there? Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh this movie was a zero out of ten. In the end, I think the only survivors were the brother in law and Mia. Mia flung the mother in law from the roof of the truck as she was trying to escape. The mother in law stabbed the best friend slash sister in law. Um brother in law got arrested. Mia runs to the car of her husband. She finds out he was in on it too. So she gets them in the accident where he's flung from the car. Another unrealistic scene, how that played out. So many unrealistic scenes. Um, and then in the end, she walks away. She throws away her cell phone after artist boy texts her. This movie did not need to be made. It so many gaps, so many issues, so many unrealistic scenarios. Tyler Perry, do better. Actually, don't do anything else.